Hey, how's it going guys? It's Capital Regime coming at you with episode 12 of Kingdom Come Deliverance. So thank you guys for all the feedback so far and hope you've been enjoying the series. Um, before I get into what we're going to do this episode, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, the future of my channel and, you know, what game I want to play next. So uh, I've been able to get a little feedback on a poll that I released on my community page. So um, one of you guys voted for Hogwarts and I think I got another vote for Skyrim. And I think I, I replied to that when I'm like, it would be my like 11th or 12th playthrough. So I'm not sure how much um, I'm down to play that game. But I mean, if you guys want to see it, I haven't played it in a while. So uh, we could crank out, you know, the, the settings to max and maybe mod it a little bit, do a modded playthrough because I've played mostly vanilla so far. So let me know what you guys think. Go to the community page, vote on that poll. Let me know what game out of, you know, the ones I listed you want to see. And if none of those games are there. Um, go ahead and comment down below what game you want to see. But anyway, guys, we're gonna hit this series, hit this episode with a little more variety compared to the last ones. Uh, maybe get into a DLC, um, show you guys a training montage or two, and get a lot more of the story knocked out. So, anyways, without further ado, guys, this intro has been long enough. Like if you're liking the channel, subscribe if you want to see more. Let's get into it. All right, looks like the last time. We were on here. We we just cleared a camp. Uh, let's see what we have on in the journal, and and we'll decide what to do from here. Whoops. Okay, I meant to clear the info. Uh, what's going on? So this is the main quest. Side quests. Courtship. I don't think I want to do that. Uh, friend in need. Pestilence. Interlopers. Okay. Yeah, that's the next camp. We're probably going to. Well, there's the chumps on the river quest still. We're probably going to just try to knock out this next part of the main quest since we're already in um since we're already in Sasau and I think that's what we we're planning to do next anyway. So I'm going to head down um and what was the Yeah, so A is the closest objective. It's talking to the young man. So we're trying to infiltrate the monastery now that I have my bearings. Um I think one of the choices is to impersonate impersonate him and um, get into the monetary monastery that way and that's I think what I did on my last playthrough we might just do that again for simplicity but we'll see see you guys in a bit all right guys here we are at the inn uh, we're gonna see if we can locate this guy I think he's he might be inside my memory serves yeah. Give me a minute. oh this is him good health to you is it are you called by any chance I am why do you ask I've heard that you're bound for the monastery. Yes, yes, it's true. But I've convinced my faithful guardian, Manfred, to give me a few more days of freedom. Mind you, he won't let me visit the brothel. So instead, I'm devoting those days to the demon drink. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Henry. Pleased to meet you, Henry. Let's have a drink. A man after my own heart. The drink's on me. And will my guardian angel here join us in imbibing? No, he will not. Perish the thought. My dear, dear lad, what a cross I have to bear. <laughs> you know, after the tavern, we should pay a visit to some whores. But Manfred won't let me. Get rid of him. The Lord watch over you. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a minute. Alright, we gotta try to get rid of Manfred, I guess. That a knight such as you takes an interest in me. You're Manfred, the young lord's guardian. Indeed I am. Why? Okay. Um, looks like the two choices we have are either speech or nobility or chivalry. You must have a mighty thirst. Waiting here with him for days, just watching him get drunk. And not having a sip yourself. There's no doubt I should oh, yeah. enjoy a drink. Heaven yes, knows I deserve it. But if I dull my senses in the slightest, that road would surely get up to mischief. So let's drink together. And if you start to feel unwell, I'll keep an eye on him. Like you said, you deserve some fun. Forgive my rudeness. Ah, uh, damn. But you don't look like someone I could trust. I'll drink when my task is accomplished. Until then. I have a job to do. I've been looking Let's try the other option. Quite some time. 
I've been sent by the young lord's father with a message intended only for him. So, I'm just to take you at your word, am I? <laughs> Damn. But where's your seal? You haven't got one. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Messenger. You wouldn't be idling about in this tavern. Get out of my sight, you fraud. <laughs> Caught me. Would you let us have a word in private for a moment? I would not. If I put my guard down for a second, he'll be gone. I have to keep my eye on him. Farewell. Mm. Yep, nothing I can do. What am I supposed to do then? Here, enjoy it. You must have a mighty thirst. There's no <laughs> so let's drink together. Forgive me. <laughs> I don't know why I tried again. I don't know what to do. Um, we have to look for a different option, I guess. Let's see what. Hmm. Yeah, that's an optional task. So maybe we we just head over to Radzig, and see what he says. I think that's our only option at this point. So I'm gonna head over to Radzig, see what he suggests that we do, and then we'll come back if um if that's the next objective. But all right, just give me a sec here, guys. All right, guys, bringing you guys back in because we ran into a snare. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out just because you know. What do we have here? Let's equip my. Well, where's my mace? I thought we were going to do some mace combat. Did I put it away? Yeah, I did. Let's move it back to our inventory here. There we go. More like it. All right, where's that snare at? Oh, hello. Okay. Okay. That's not cool. This guy's just like in my face. There you go. Take that, sir. Oh, he's done. All right. Ooh. Hello. Okay. I need to reset here. All right, get wrecked. You're done. Let's go, sir. You're an archer. You should fold pretty easily. There you go. Not so. This guy's gonna be. Oh, I thought you'd be better, sir. Get wrecked. Ooh, nice repost. Ooh, he reposted me again. Oh, there you go. You get Who the hell? Bandits. Wow. Okay. For sure. Two for one. Come here, Lily Liver. You're a Lily Liver. Ah, ah! Get away. Get out my face. Get out my ways. Oh, these guys are decent. Yeah, it kind of looks like me. And by me, I mean Henry. Oh, shh. Okay. Ooh. Get wrecked. Contribute to my mace experience. How about you? Oh, your armor is low, bro. Oh, and this guy looked like Manfred, bro. Die, Manfred. Get wrecked. Ooh. Hold up. That guy done here. Yeah. I don't want any of these guys already knocked up, getting up and walking away. It's the thing I'm worried about. Okay, I think that's all. Not too bad. Oh, really? Have you been shooting at me this entire time? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's have a little fun. Um, I'm gonna have you pay. 
can go for if you insist. Sorry. I was just kidding. Christ. Sorry, bro. You shot at me. It's unforgivable. Oh, you did give me all your coin. At least you were honest. But nothing else worth taking. Maybe I should just let you go. Oh, well. Loot, loot. Was he wield noble hunting sword? All right. Almond shield. Heavy warhammer. That's not too bad. Mail cloth. Russian. Oh, there's a bunch more of them. Oh yeah, this this is the one I wanted to loot 100%. Well, his armor looked expensive. But, I mean, not too bad overall. Where are the cumins? I fought the cumins first. That's a bandit. Oh, the cumins. Where are the cumins? Don't tell me they despawned. Bro. Okay, my horse is here, so maybe cumins are more over here. I forgot where I fought them already. Oh, here they are. Okay. Good thing, because this guy... This guy has some pretty good shit. He's actually better equipped than all those bandits. He's a man who likes to eat. Give me all that. Yeah, we're overburdened here. We're gonna offload to the horse soon, but I think we can find the last... I already looted you. Cumin axe. Where's the last cumin? There were three, weren't there? I think. I can't find him in the next couple seconds. I'm just gonna go. someone else here. Hello. Oh, it's just a wayfarer. Okay. I'm not going to mess with him. Okay. I think that's good. Um, I didn't expect to get attacked by both humans and bandits. But paid off. So let's just put... Horse can't carry anymore. Oh, come on. Okay. So good thing we're heading to Rate. We're going to try to avoid any fights we get into because we won't be able to loot them anyway. So let's just head to Rite. Yeah, we're going to fast travel. Hopefully we get there before dark, because if we don't, we're just going to get hit with a bunch of random events that we can't take advantage of. And even worse, that could potentially kill us. So hopefully we have a smooth rest of the travel there. All right. Yeah, it looks like we have to stay the night too. It's getting late and my energy's getting low, so put that away before the guards say something. Yeah, yeah Rate. Okay. I mean, I think we have a few weapons. We don't have too many, but might as well make a stop here first. If it's still open. Open it is. Yeah, all these. Oh, yeah, we do have a lot of weapons. Parrot sword, we'll leave. Metal plated, we'll leave. Razor, we'll leave. Yeah, those are all of our backup weapons. And I think we have a few more in inventory, too. What up, Swordy? Bell. Sort by value. Reliable blade. Okay, the duelist. Okay, that's our duelist. We got a duelist from one of those other guys, too. So that's kind of cool. Maybe Warhammer. Warhammer, falchion, common, common. Keep the dagger. That's decent. Okay, we're gonna try to haggle this. We do something about the price? Maybe up to a thousand. That's probably pushing it. Since it's you, that's too much. Yeah, we'll probably have to come down by a lot, and we won't have to. Oh yeah, he's pretty angry. Maybe nine forty. See you now. Okay, nice. Thank you, sir. 
Okay, so that does it for the weapons. Give ourselves a little bit of, a little bit of a wash. Okay, one horse. I need you. I need you close so I can get stuff off you. Did you rename your horse? I don't know. Uh, sidekick. Heavy stuff. Yep. All this. Dang, he was carrying a gang. All right. Yeah, I think I have so many things because, uh, oops, because I did not empty this out at the end of the last episode. That's on me, but it's fine. Okay, I'm going to get this chalice out too, and maybe any other valuables we have in there. I think that's good. Ooh, yeah, we're overloaded. Trying to see if I could ring the bell, <laughs> like the one of the intro missions when we get to Rote, but I guess not. What's up, sir? Good day to you. And while we're here, we're gonna get some repairs as well. But let's see how how much gold we can pile up. I think he has twenty one k. Three sets of silver spurs, huh? Wow. Okay. A lot more than I thought I had. That's it. 6k. Can we do something? Well, wow. see if we can get it up to like maybe 8. No. Let's do 7. 7. Three? It'll take more than Ooh. 7250. Bye. Nice. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we're going to see what we can repair as well. And repairs are expensive, but it's going to be worth it. Yeah, let's just repair everything we're wearing, and then we'll go to the general store. And well, the duelist is getting pretty beat up too, huh? Yeah, I'm not going to repair the bow because I'm going to just end up selling it. You know what? It might add to the value enough that it's worth it. I don't know. Let's haggle. Can we do something? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, let's try to get it, the repair price down to maybe like a fifty. Might enough? be a stretch. You won't convince. He's probably gonna be pretty pissed about that. He's not in the red, so you should see accept that. Nice. Thank you, sir. Okay, I think there's one more thing left to do, and we haven't done this in a while. We gotta visit the tailor to get some of our threads repaired. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything from him, but we'll see. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah, these things are done. I'm not even gonna haggle that. Okay, so one last stop. We're gonna hit up the. We're gonna hit up the um, general trader over here. Then we'll head over to Radzig, ask him about what to do about this quest, and then we'll sleep for the night, and we'll. Continue on in the morning. What's up, bro? Conrad with a K. Let's talk trade, sir. No, we're not going to sell our duelist, but these chalices. A spare human bow. Oh, I forgot we had so many potions. On that note, I think I want to pick up some more. Particularly more... Um, just gonna sell it as is. We have 14k, particularly more um, saber snaps, so we can start saving a little more often. Now that we can afford to. Okay, 14k Groshin. Let's hit up. Yeah, I knew. I said. I know. I said that was gonna be our last stop, guys. But I want to head over to the apothecary. Hopefully, get some saber snaps from him. Maybe some of the other potions. God's sake. Do you have saver snaps? Duh, that's five of them. Uh, might as well load up. Nighthawk. Buck's blood. It's gonna be expensive, but we can afford it now. Yep. 
Okay, 10 marigold cushions. I don't know if we're going to be wearing weighing down our horse weight too much. So these digestives down here, guys, are good as if... Uh, if you guys noticed in the last episode, I ate way too much. Might as well buy the Lazaruses too. I ate way too much, so I couldn't take the potions I needed to, which made the fight a lot harder. Clearing that camp, I mean. Let's try to bring this down a lot, significantly. Yeah, 3,300 maybe. What do you say to this? That's a poor off. Oh, he's gonna be pissed. Oh, that should do. Finally. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so it lets you bring your stomach contents back down, so you can take more potions potentially. So, I'm gonna go find Radzig. Like I said, and we're gonna sleep for the night and see what we're doing next. He should be around here somewhere. It's funny, this horse has been here for I don't know how long because I stole him from somebody originally and I kind of just left him there. And he's persisted ever since. Actually, I think I have to go higher. There you are. What's up, sir? I hear you on the rat eye turning. That was a while ago. Um, oh, that's a... That's a side quest, which we'll definitely do, but we'll... So, okay. this investigation into the Neuhoff massacre... It's getting a bit complicated. What have you found out? I tracked down a gang of robbers who recruited killers for Privis Lovitz. They know the horse owns who torched Neuhoff. That's excellent news. Did you find out any more? So far, not much. Dang, I gotta catch him up a lot. I haven't talked to him about it in a while. That means murdering one of their former cronies, a fellow they call Pius. Apparently he was- Oh, never mind. Not that much. You have to kill a criminal to prove yourself to them. Huh. I don't much like the sound of it. That's not the worst of it. This Pius is hiding out in the monastery, pretending to be a novice. I'd have to get inside the cloisters to get at him. <laughs> Good God above, that's another matter entirely. They don't let just anyone into the cloisters, and the abbot won't give up any of the novices. Secular law has no jurisdiction inside the monastery. And this is the second time that something untoward has happened there. First the counterfeiters, now this. I'd be glad to have someone take a look inside. It seems like the only way to find Pius is to join the Order. Damned if I know how, though. A bit of meditation and learning would do you good. If it's really the only way to get to him, then you'll have to do it. I'm sorry I can't be of much help. Sadly, my relations... Oh, with really? Then you, you can't help? ...congenial. You'll have to figure something out for yourself. What should okay. I do with Pius once I find him? Don't kill him. Bring him to the bailiff in Rate. He'll interrogate the man and give him a fair trial. It doesn't sound like an easy task, sir. Getting into the cloisters, finding Pius, and then getting him to the bailiff. Far from it, lad. But I have confidence in your abilities. Take care. Peace. Hey, what are we supposed to do then? Okay, well. We'll meditate on it, I guess, after we sleep. Think of something. Uh, sleep for the night, and then we'll figure out our next move in the morning, guys. Perfect. Alright, guys. Um, I think the next plan of action is to head over to... Or head back to, I should say, Sassau to try to find some way to either convince Manfred of leaving me alone with... With Carl to talk, or around the monastery area, we could possibly um, find a priest or somebody we could try to convince to let us in the order. So we're going to go ahead and tra fast travel there now. And I know just because of the length of this route, there's a really good chance that I'm going to get stopped at, by humans or bandits or somebody else at least once. So I'm going to keep you guys tuned in here. Um, I should be safe, um, at least up until Ladechko, and maybe after that, I'm expecting to get stopped at least once. There's also always a chance here as well, but... My experience, I usually don't. Yep. So yeah, the area I'm talking about is the area west of Ledechko, or between Ledechko and 
Sassau where there's this really dense forest that we usually get stopped in at least once or twice. You know, um, miraculously we did not get stopped. So we're at the monastery now. Let's see if there's anybody in here. And because I've never went this route of, you know, trying to get in the monastery outside of Carl and Manfred, I'm not sure who to talk to or if there's even anybody in here. So um, I'm going to skip ahead to, you know, whatever I end up doing, just so, you know, you guys don't have to watch me struggle trying to find the right person. Okay, let's talk to people here. Oh, man, I feel like I'm running out of options. I talked to a few priests and a few officials and nobody seems to be letting us in. Who is this? Elias. I haven't talked to Elias yet. And who are you? Brother Elias. What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the Scalots locals as much as I can. I won't get any sleep. Uh, okay, he doesn't look like he's going to have any options. Good luck to you. Who else? Johanka, maybe? Greetings. I haven't talked to her in a while. What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... Yes? Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scarlet's was raised. Just the two of us. Uh, you know what? This is another side quest to try to help Johanka with this, and that's not... Um, aligned with what we're trying to do right now. Let's see if we can talk to Brother Nicodemus. Okay, we can trade with him. Is there anything he can train us in that can help us? Just alchemy. Good luck to you. Oh, man. Alright, guys. Um, no luck here. I, I talked to pretty much everybody that I could that had a dialogue option to talk to him. Besides the guards, right? Which, here's an example. Never have an option. So, we're going to try to go back to the end. See what we can do about... Um, maybe even forcibly getting our hands on whatever we need to in order to imper impersonate Carl, even if, you know, that means some violence if necessary. I don't want to go that route, but I'm getting kind of frustrated with, um, you know, trying to find an alternate way to get through to him. Okay, um, it's like we took the hard route, but we're here. Okay, so here we are. Let's see what we can do. Alright guys, I'm just going to sleep it off real quick to see if, you know, maybe we can just try to steal whatever we need from Manfred overnight. Because I know they're staying in um, a room down the way at the end. So if we sleep here and we get up, you know, maybe at midnight. <laughs> Looks like we can't sleep that long. Uh, if we wait a couple hours for them. After dark, then maybe we can slip in and um, steal whatever we need to impersonate Carl without directly involving them. So I think that's the way we got to go. It's either that or killing them both, which I don't want to do. Nice and dark, rainy to cover our... To cover our, um, our noise. So that's good. And we have a lot in our food inventory right now. We need to scarf some of this up. Actually, we had everything coming through. So dried meat, bread. Thank God for that human dustbin perk. Pretzel. Sausage. That's perfect. Okay. So I know... Oops. Why do I always whistle? It's so stupid. Okay, they are both sleeping here. So let's see if we can just... Ooh. Okay. I think that's what we need. So we stole both of those things. Awesome. So I don't think we need to directly involve them. We'll just we'll just wait until the morning now. And then go straight there. And without that writ, Carl can't get in anyway. So, I mean, hey, everybody wins. Except for maybe Manfred. Okay, so it's the daytime now. We're going to head back up to the monastery and see if we can just get up in the monastery now with that writ in hand. I'm going to fast travel here. 
It's just literally up the road, but faster than riding. All right, so we need to find a dude named Brother Porter, I think, who I did try to talk to earlier when we were trying to find another way to, to get in, and he's around here somewhere. Should be marked with a B. A brother. This is him. What up, Porter? I'm Carl. I'm supposed to enter as a novice. We expected you sooner. Weren't you supposed to come here with your guardian? It's been so hectic lately, people will keep turning up out of the blue. What of it? I'm here, aren't I? Well, you're a bit bold, aren't you? Well, the brothers will soon knock that out of you. Well, we'll see. Can you read and write? Naturally. I wouldn't be here otherwise. So then, are you ready to enter the Order of St. Benedict and renounce forever the temptations of this world? I am. Sure, why not? Then you must rid yourself of all your worldly possessions. Sell them or give them to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. Inside the gatehouse is a trunk in which you will find monks' robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while, while I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your acceptance. Good luck to you. Okay. Looks like we need to... We need to put our stuff somewhere. So I think the best place to put that will be on our horse. So... Yeah, everything's gonna go on our horse. Looks like... I, I bet there's a mod or something that we can just move everything rather quickly. Because this is going to take a little bit. So I'm just going to speed through this, guys. I think that's everything. So now we need to go to the gatehouse. Pick up the monk's robes. And we should be good to go. What's oh, in this next room? Strange feeling being without all of that. I didn't realize how much I'd grown used to it. Everything's prepared. It's time for you to take your vows. Do I really have to wear this? You'd better get used to it. You'll be wearing it for the rest of your life. Dang, just imagine the life of a monk, man. Brothers in Christ, we have gathered here today to welcome a new novice into our midst. Dear brother, forget your former life and embrace your new vocation in the community of the monks of St. Benedict. Opus Dei, obedientia, obprobria, the service of God, obedience, and endurance of all discomfort. These are the cornerstones and succor of our order, which on this day shall become your own. Suscipe me, Domine, 
Secundum eloquium tuum et vivam. Et non confundas me ab expectatione mea. Suscipe me domine secundum in loquium tuum et vivam in loquium tuum vivam <laughs> et, et non confundas me ab expectatione Accept your new name, Brother Gregor, and wear it with honor. Welcome, brother. Very nice. Nice. We're now a monk of the Order of St. Benedict. Welcome. Not for long. I, I have anything to say about it. Like you. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what your duties will be. All right. Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? Or did someone force you to come? I'm being punished. If it were up to me, I'd still be spending my days in taverns and my nights with whores. I don't envy you. Unfortunately, you're here for the rest of your life. Is it all right if we don't do the tour? I thought that since you're literally a complete novice, you'd be interested to know what you have to do tomorrow. But if you don't want to come with me, I won't yeah. force you. Here's a letter you know, we, from Pryor with the daily schedule. Read we won't, we won't need to... Um... Do the tour because I won't be here tomorrow. Thanks for everything. I'll look around myself. So, um, Are you sure? the next order of action I'm is to try to find Pius. Otherwise, tomorrow you'll be standing around staring like an idiot while everyone else knows what they have to do. I'll work it out myself. Suit yourself. If you think you don't need any explanations, just follow the schedule you got from the prior. All right. Okay. Now that we're in, like I said, we gotta find Pius. I believe he works in, like, the scriptorium. If I remember properly. So let's just try to find the scriptorium. Okay. Looks like this is the dormitory. Where we all sleep. There's an alchemy bench, bathroom. Let's try going through this door. Down here. Hallway, okay. Nope. Stebor, monk, monk, brother. Looking for Pius, a librarian. Stuck to the librarian. Is it possible to learn something about the other novices in the library? Only the abbot and the prior keep such records. And can I see them? No. The abbot writes and keeps his records in his chambers, and only he and the prior are permitted to read them. Is there anything I can do to help here? I'm glad you asked. There's one thing. A silly thing, really. I haven't thought to mention it to anyone before. But not long ago, a brother brought me a crumpled piece of parchment. He says he found it rolled up in a hole in the wall. The thing is, it was a page from Ovid. Ovid? What is that? Is it the name of a book? Not what, but who? Ovid was a great Roman poet. We have a few volumes by him in the library, but one of them vanished one day. Now I believe I can guess what happened. Brother Eustace, may the earth rest lightly on him, was quite narrow-minded when it came to classical literature. 
If a book had any mention of woman at all, he condemned it as a heretical work. If he'd had his way, all such books would wow. have been burned. Ovid's The Art of Love must have been such a thorn in his side that he stole it from the library, tore it up, and hid the pages wherever he could. Hmm. Oh, would you like me to put the book back together again? Absolutely. Eustace's wits weren't the sharpest, so I'm sure he didn't destroy any of the pages. I imagine he hid them throughout the monastery. It might take you a while to find them all, but when you do, you can rest assured Ovid will return to his rightful place in the library. Good. I'll look around for it. Thank you, brother. It's of no great importance, but if you can find all ten pages, I'll be most grateful. <clears throat> Where should I look? If I knew, I wouldn't have asked you. Okay. Um, yeah, let's look around for that because I think the main goal for us is getting to the library because I think that's where Pius is, um, the guy that we need to interrogate about the crimps or who the crimps want us to kill, at least. But if you guys recall, Radzig doesn't want us to kill him. He wants us to get him out and in the Ratai jails. So we'll see what we can do about that. Let's get to know some of the novices a little bit, I think. Let's start with you. What do you desire, Brother Gregor? You're just tough. Freshen. I'm just going to straight up tell him we're looking for Pius, man. But tell me what you've done. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'm here in the monastery looking for a thief. He had a hand in burning down the Neuhof stud. You don't say. And who are you to take such an interest? That's not important. Why are you telling me this anyway? What do you want from me? Perhaps you could help me find him? The missing thief? If I knew anything, I'd tell you. But I suppose it must be one of the novices. I've only recently heard about the Neuhof incident. And all the other brethren have been here much longer than that. I know. Aside from me, there are only four novices, but still, I don't know which one he could be. Three? Please, leave me out of it. Mm. And you're right that it could be any one of them. No it's one kind of suspicious. Siskin might be a lot of things, but a monk isn't one of them. And Yodok is a slimy worm. It wouldn't surprise me if he was behind that massacre. Actually, the more I think about it, the less I like that Yodok. He's a treacherous Look at him. Do anything He's deflecting. Good books. The thought of Yodok at Neuhof sends a chill down my spine. No, I don't want to. Right. I don't want to let him know that it's I'm suspicious sure. of him. Thanks for your help, and please don't say a word to anyone. Don't fret, my friend. Your secrets are locked inside my lips. You know what? Why not? I know you're pious, the man I've been looking for. So you're finally sure. Tell me, Gregor, or Carl, or whatever your true name is. What do you want to do now? I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do. Well, at least you're prepared to think and not just play bloodhound for a pack of nobodies. And I'm glad you have your doubts. I don't want to be like the people I'm looking for. If I have to kill, it should be for a reason, not because I enjoy it. You know, we're both pawns in someone else's game. They have plans for us. But we don't have to let them use us. We can just forget all about it and go our own way. I, I was a bandit and I was at Nyhoff. I've robbed and stolen, but I swear to God I've never in my life slain innocent people. What I saw at Nyhoff made me realize my life was worth shit, but I still had a chance to change for the better. Here in the monastery I've had plenty of time to think things over, but then you showed up and fucked it all up. So the evildoer changes his ways and finds God. And what exactly are you proposing? Both of us can leave this place. You can go back to your people, and I can go somewhere where I can live out my life in peace, and no one will try to kill me. If we work together, we can both get what we want. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're right. I'm gonna tell him that I agree with him, but we'll find out if I don't kill you. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna do is um, just go to bed. 
Before we make a and we'll make honestly, I want to get out of here. Can. I'm not liking the fact that Loads I'm separated from my gear. Tattered scrap of my habit and footprints leading towards the river. No one will bother looking for my body there. There we'll split up. You go for your bounty, and I'll get as far away from here as I can. Good. Let's do it your way. Good. I'm glad that despite our initial discord, we could reach an agreement. Here, take something to calm your stomach. Now we'll need the keys to the monastery and some blood to make the tracks. What are you going to do? I need to get ready for a long journey. Prepare supplies, get some normal clothing somehow. That sort of thing. You can escape in that habit, but I need to vanish as fast as I can. And where am I supposed to get my hands on blood in a monastery? You'll find a parchment in the kitchen with a list of ingredients on it. All the things they're ordering. Add blood for making soup to the list. And when it's delivered the next day, take it before anyone notices it's even come. What do I need the keys to the monastery for? How else will we get out? This place is practically a prison. Getting the keys won't be easy. I know, but Brother Solarius is a reformed thief. I'll bet he still has a few lockpicks lying about. If you know how to use them, they'll be worth finding. Or there's the hard way. Steal the keys from the prior. He carries them with him at all times. They both sound hard to me. But needs must. All right, that's everything I need to know. I can get started. Excellent. Come and see me once you have everything. And try to be as fast as you can. And Gregor, thank you. You know what? No one else is around. I might just knock him out now. Oh What's well. The meaning of this? Have you? <laughs> oh man. Give me that. God, what are you doing, you wretch? Fuck! Where did that murderer get to? Does nobody know I killed him? Okay. That's funny. Okay, I got to die. So that's the proof. Maybe I can just speak to the prior and get expelled. I can't believe I just got away with that. I just oh I can just leave. Okay. Let's go get my stuff. My horse is right here. Take that off. Grab my things. Oh, it's not my horse. I think we're ready to go. Okay. Looks like the next leg of the mission is going to the agreed upon place by the swamp and present the die and then we should be should be good to go. This looks like the place they were talking about. Right. This looks like it's it. Okay. Let's light a fire. Morning, sunshine. Hope we didn't wake you. Kurva. Did you have to sneak up on me like thieves? We are thieves. Besides, we had to make sure you weren't followed. 
or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to business. We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. Question is, was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. You've got proof? He had this on him. Hmm. Aye. That says all right. What did you do with the body? I left it where it was. What else could I do? So, they lose a monk and find a corpse. How long do you reckon it'll take them to put two and two together? Well, it's not like I was planning to make a career in Rome. Hmm. Fair enough. Soon it won't matter anyway. What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just a crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything you need to know. Where? Are you seriously telling me you didn't notice the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, there's a hill above Sassau. And on top, there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell him Kozliak sent you. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. I almost forgot. At the gate, show them the special die you took off Pius. That's our sign. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know at Vranik. And hurry up. I've got a feeling there's something being planned. Hmm. So Vranik. Vranik is the... Is the big ah, camp. Okay, so let's head over to Radzig real quick. Okay, that's the Vrana camp, but we're gonna go over to Radzig and report out to him. Because as much as we we'd like to try out being a bandit, that looks like we might get stopped here. Yep. Okay. There's a snare. This is a good um. This is a good distraction of, you know, the main quest and this lack of combat. Long. Ooh, looks like bandits. Elite I'm ones. Okay. Got bonked. Ooh. He's down already. Alright. Go, sir. You guys have really nice armor. Oh, you're done already? Jeez. Alright. Oop. Alright. Let's go, sir. Ooh. Okay. Gotta get up. Looks like he was only knocked out, huh? Alright. This is a challenge. You call that get another hit in there, there we go. Okay. What's up? 
Wow, okay. Can't believe I didn't counter any of those blows. Oh, he's dead. Ah, there we go. Where'd the third one go? He's still down, right? This guy ain't down either. Nothing to be seen here, sir. Where's the third one? Oh, come on. Did he run off? That's not cool, man. Well, I guess two is better than none. Where'd you come from? Okay. See ya. Was that the third guy? I could have sworn it was a different guy. Finger. Guy's got good stuff. Upload some of this stuff. My horse here. And another pair of golden spurs. You guys were loaded. All right. That was fun. Moving on now. Long journey to Rite. Here we are, guys. Good old Rate. It's been a while. Yeah, we need to report out to Radzig. Should be close by. See where he's at. Where you at, man? I need to tell you something. Excuse me. Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again, and on an even bigger scale. You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Pribislavitz encampment was just a start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who worked for them, and let him recruit me. Ah, God's holy hat! You never cease to surprise me, lad. And what did you find out? They have another much bigger encampment in Vranik near to Sasau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is. All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test. They trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. But then again, before we attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Privis Lavitz. All right then, Hal. Go there and find out how many of them there are, and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. 
Godspeed, lad. Right, nice. We were able to report out. I think this is a pretty good time to take a, a respite from the main quest and um, go after another bandit camp. What do you guys think? Before I do that, I'm going to go and offload all the goods we've collected from the snares and ambushes that we've run into along the way for the quest. So we're going to go ahead and offload. We're going to hit up each of our vendors here and see how much how much we can get for our trouble. Probably gonna start with the... Probably gonna start with a swordsmith or weaponsmith. Let's see. Okay. Awesome. So what do I not need? So... This st Ooh. What? The stinger is nice. Oh my goodness. Look at that stab damage. Dude, that's really good. You know what? I'm going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of the Razor in that case. Raven's Beak. Pretty good. Keep the Duelist, Herod's, Herod's Sword. Yeah, get rid of these shields. Golden Spurs. All this stuff. I think that should be good. how much I can get for, uh, for the weapons that I got for this guy. Let's see. Well, not much, right? Oh, it's still, still a decent amount of money. Got to get 920 for it. Uh, you know, you can probably still get 880. Okay, that's good. So... Looks like we were able to offload and get under our, our burden limit, or our carry limit. Alright, we should be able to get a pretty good amount from the armor smith here. Oh yeah. Four point three. Man, the trader's wealth's up thirty six k at this point. Oh yeah. Satisfied. Close. I'm not dropping it below five k. I'm gonna go five k, even. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Try to get some repairs while we're at it as well. Didn't do that much. A hey, retail for that. Okay, so one last stop. Gotta head up the clothier, get the threads repaired. Gotta keep looking fresh. I hope I. Good luck to you. Okay, not too much damage there. Quick thirty groschen repair. And I think, guys, we're gonna end this episode with with a camp raid. Hopefully, a pretty successful one. So what we're going to do to make this extra sensational is we're just going to get drunk on buffing potions here. So we're going to take one of each of these. What does these do again? Yeah, it's alcoholic. I don't want to take Artemisia. These are alcoholic as well. We'll take one. Take one of these guys. Fox blood. What does this do? Stamina. I like it. It's an embrocation. Agility. I like it. I think that's good. Okay. Let's see where that camp is here. Interlopers. Oh, uh, looks like we need to go up to, um, Ravna, or Scalitz, either one. Set up our map. Ravna might just be a little closer, but it might be easier to get up with Scalitz, but let's just go to Ravna. 
It looks like we might have to wait. You know what? We might stop in one of the towns just so we can get some shut eye. Yeah, we might stop right here in the Dutch go. We couldn't cancel. Oh, you can only cancel waiting. You can't cancel fast travel. So that's my bad. So we're going to have to go all the way. All right, guys, bring him back in because we run into a snare. Be a nice little warm up for us. Where's that snare hat? I know you. I remember the ugly monk. I'll find you. <laughs> you know me from <laughs> where? From me. Okay. Hello. Jeez. Hi. I'm on a tree. Okay. Okay. What are you gonna do? I'm surprised these guys can even repost. Come on, attack me, bro. Alright, there he goes. I don't even know if it's worth looting these guys. Probably not. They might have a potion or two. A yeah, hair of dog. Guys, come from. Okay. Well, that was barely worth stopping, but hey, it's experience. Let's keep on going. gonna get a bite to eat here guys I think I have food on my horse don't I I don't have any food oh this is not good okay that, that's a little bit of an issue but not too large of one we should be able to get our hands on some food soon We just need daylight. So the good thing about potions, guys, is that they'll count they'll count towards your nourishment. So we're not too worried about starving. Just as long as we can get to that camp in a reasonable amount of time. Which seems to be straight up in the Scout Hills. Scout's Hills, so we'll, we'll head up in those hills. Pop our potions, should take care of our nourishment, and be able to take down a camp at the same time. So, as soon as I locate the camp, guys, I'll let you know. Bring you back. Okay, guys, I've located the camp here. We're going to go ahead and pop some of our potions here. Along with the saver snaps, in case we actually die. Here we go. What's up, bro? Let's go. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice combo. Very nice. Oh, he's down already. Them roids. Them roids are crazy, bro. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Pretty nice. Two arms! Get over here! I'm gonna enjoy this. Hey! All of you, gather here! Oh, God. 
<laughs> We're taking so many hits. Oh, you should be down. There he goes. Oh, you're lucky he started hitting me right when he did. Oh, you're done. Oh, uh, two more. Alright. Oh, what the hell? Uh, Alright, let's go. Why don't you guys just attack? That guy's, that guy's trying to go for that long range now. What's going on with this guy? Where are you going? Okay. And this guy's heavily armored. I don't know how many times I hit him. He'll be almost down though. He's done. Ooh, okay. Hopefully I can locate all the other guys. They should just be between be between me and the camp. For the most part. Okay, that's the last one. Nice. You know, without those potions, we probably would have been killed. So, thankfully we took them. These guys were pretty legit. I think that's a really good way to... to cut, cap off the episode, if I do say so myself. Um, where is... What direction was the camp in again? Okay. Yeah, so they should just be scattered around here. Here's another one. Hopefully I can find a couple more. There were a lot of them. But, you know, in the heat of battle, it's real easy. I don't know if you guys have a special way of being able to locate your kills after not really kind of watching or thinking about where you're going as the battle progresses. Same guy. There's probably a mod or something that we could think about installing, but I want to mostly keep this to a vanilla and just official DLC on a playthrough, at least for now. We'll see, that could change. Okay, we're overburdened, so I'm gonna put some stuff on our horse. We'll keep looking for a little bit. Alright guys, you know what? We looked around for a bit, can't really find any more bodies. So I think we're good. I think we're going to call that an episode right there. So I think to end it off, we're just going to head to the closest town, which at this point um, should be the monastery. 
where we have to submit the uh, camp clear anyway, so let's go. Good day to you. I'm taking care of that camp. Oh, yes? Here it is. At least one piece of good news today. Some woodcutters reported there's an encampment across the ford on the wooded headland there. Go and deal with that. I see. I have some, uh, well, trophies. Let's have them. There are plenty of them. My lad, you're the wrath of God personified. Take care now. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, I think that's going to that's going to do it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the episode. Thank you guys for joining me again. Uh, we were able to get a lot of that main quest out of the way and we're able to fit in a good amount of com uh, combat at the same time. I think in the next episode, we're going to focus on getting some of our, you know, non-combat skills and maybe some of our secondary weapon skills up, um, you know, like the mace, the axe, and maybe some some other skills on the side as well. You know, maybe brush up on our reading or um, hit up some alchemy. And I think that would be pretty cool to start brewing some potions and showcase that system. So, once again, guys, thank you for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. We're going to keep going with it. And I look forward to starting a new game and a new series alongside this one soon. But we're going to keep it going. Thank you guys again. Peace out.